This is our setup video on how to uh, launch Arc Genesis and set it all up. Hopefully before you started you made sure that uh, your Anthem product has the latest firmware in it and that your laptop or computer and Anthem are on the same network. We have a lot more details in a written blog we did at audioadvice.com so you can search for Anthem under our videos and reviews section and find it there. But to begin you basically just click launch Arc and it's going to search and they'll find the device. In our case, it's the Anthem 720. You'll click that. It'll connect to it. And you can click down here to continue. One thing we noticed, we set this Anthem 720 up to have a pair of in-ceiling Atmos speakers, side surrounds, and front left and right. We used all seven channels of it. But it's still showing the rear speakers here. So you're going to want to go over to the measurement section and turn off, in our case, the backs. So what you want to make sure is that this uh, configuration here matches what's actually in your room by turning on and off what you do or do not have. We like to do eight measurements. That takes a little bit better picture of the room. And if you want to here, you can change the name of your measurement. Um, there are more measurements also available if you're using the multiple EQ settings you can do at Anthem, which we describe in the blog. For most people, one set is going to be just fantastic. So you'll hit continue then it'll see the microphone, you'll select it. Now, the first time you do this, if you'll have to plug in the six digits that you'll find on the bottom of your microphone right here into this little box and hit download. And then in about 30 seconds, the number will appear here. You click on it and that takes you to the measurements page. Okay, we're ready to start our measurements. So you wanna make sure your room can be quiet for about 20 to 30 minutes. It's gonna take that long to send all the test tones through, especially if you have a lot of speakers. So turn your phone off. Uh, get the kids and dogs out of the room and uh, the test tones are going to be a little loud so be prepared for that. The first measurement you put the microphone you just follow this diagram uh, it's right in the sweet spot right in the center it should be at ear level to the top of the microphone which for most people is about 41 inches on a normal couch and uh, you want to point the microphone straight up that's really important make sure it's pointing straight up it's designed to work that way. Once you're all set you just press start and it's gonna send a bunch of test tones out through the system. We've sped this up for the purpose of this video. You'll see why we want ARC. Uh, most rooms look like the mountains and ARC is gonna flatten a lot of this out to give us much better sound. Once that's done, it'll tell you where to put it in the next position and it just kind of goes around. We'll speed this up. When you go behind and in front of the couch, you go about three feet behind it, keep it at your level and take all these. Once it's done, it's gonna calculate the curves. This usually takes two to three minutes, but we've sped it up again. You can review what it's done. You can see it's really flattened stuff out, but it's easiest just to hit upload now and it'll upload and you're done. After this happens, uh, you wanna go back into your settings and just, we suggest you recheck your levels, check your crossovers. We've seen ARC sometimes set crossovers too high and uh, most crossovers should be about 80 hertz. We do go over that in more detail in the blog. And uh, the levels sometimes will change too from what they should be, so recheck that. And then just for, for fun, recheck your distances, or you may not have even set them up before. You can do them now. Once you've done that, you can really get into the fine tuning if you want to really you know, fine tune the level of the center of surrounds. We go over that in the blog as well. But we hope this gets you started. As always, if you have any questions at all, you can find us at audioadvice.com by email, phone, or chat. We appreciate your support of Audio Advice, and we'll see you next time.